Hi, I'm Andre Collins, Executive Director of the Professional Athletes Foundation. For the past 30 years, the Professional Athletes Foundation, more affectionately known as the PAF, has been providing financial assistance and social services counseling and programming to former NFL players. Back in 1990, we provided one grant of $1,000 to one former player. Fast forward 30 years, we're now averaging 500 grants a year to former players to the tune of a little more than $2 million a year. In addition to that, our self-help programming or personal development programming, something we like to call Passport to Wellness, has really emerged as another important arm of what we do. And I'm so proud of our team, our, our core group at the NFLPA. It's a thoughtful group of professionals that come together, think about what might be best for the player. And we, we take some risks. We try some things. And I'm happy to say over the years, a lot of what we, we've tried has been innovative and it has worked. A lot of times when players are transforming from the game. People that are there to help the players often really focus on what job is that player going to have next? What is that player going to do next? They also focus on the physical part of a player transforming. You know, what is this player's body like now? Are they healthy? You know, what are they going to do um, to stay healthy? But I think at the Professional Athletes Foundation, I think what helps us stand apart and what makes us different is we try and focus on the emotional aspect of the transformation first. We really want to know the player. We really want to know what the player is thinking before we start to try and direct him or lead him around. Oftentimes when players are in this transformational space after the game, they're stressed out and those stressors really keep them from making the best decisions for themselves and the best decisions for their families. So we try and jump in, assess some of that. Yeah, it's, it's known that we pay mortgages, we pay rents, we pay car notes for our former players. And part of that strategy is sometimes when you're in that tight spot and the only thing you're thinking about is money, it really does keep you from having that, that free space um, in your mind to, to think and to plan. So we try and take away some of that stress to create that opportunity for the player uh, to begin to work with us to build their plan for the future. I'm so excited about what we've done as a foundation over the past 30 years. I've been an executive director for the past seven years. And I must say that sometimes we take risks, you know, because all the players are so different. We serve players of all ages, so it's hard to always say this one thing works for everybody. But I think we've gotten really good at trying to be creative with our programming and most importantly, not underestimate what our players might need, not underestimate um, what our players might know really not underestimate how smart, how creative, and how um, innovative our players can be. So we let our players challenge us. We try and keep up with our players. We don't have all the answers. We really try and call on our players and other professionals and really try and benchmark other organizations and how they serve their members and their communities. And we take that, we wrap it all together. And really what we get is, is, is a leader in the industry of serving former NFL players, the Professional Athletes Foundation, when no one else cared about former NFL players, we were there at the very beginning with our research, with our financial assistance, and today with our compassionate programming. Just so happy uh, to be able to, to work in this space. Our team is incredible. We've had an amazing 30 years and we're going to be around for forever, 
as long as football's around, the Professional Athletes Foundation will be around and we'll continue to be creative. We'll continue to try and understand what our players need. And we'll just, you know, simply at the end of the day, you know, our motto really is, you know, hey, let's just do our best for these guys and their families.